Now let's have a look at restoring data from a local snapshot copy. We'll see what we can restore, how we can restore it, and also uh, we'll have a look at space usage. And keep in mind that a snapshot copy in ONTAP is simply a read-only copy of the root I node of the volume. Now in our demo environment we've got a 100 megabyte volume and except for some metadata the volume is empty. And there are no snapshots in this volume yet. So I've set up an NFS share and mounted it from a Linux client to slash mnt slash NFS. So on the client we see that we've got a 100 megabyte volume which is obviously empty. Now on my client I also have a 35 megabyte file in my login directory. And I'm going to copy this file into the volume. When we check the volume again we see that the file takes the space that it needs. And now we'll create a snapshot. And when we check again, as expected, the snapshot is a read-only copy of the root I node, so it doesn't take any additional space. Now on the client, we're going to delete the file. And now we see that the snapshot definitely takes space, because we have removed the file from the active file system. So just to make sure, from the active file system, there are no pointers to this uh, file anymore. So the only pointers to this file are from the snapshot. Now to restore this file we have three options. We can let the NFS client copy the file from the snapshot back into the active file system. The second one is that in ONTAP we can restore the file using the snap restore file command or we can restore the entire volume. Now the third option is not a problem in this case but if we would have had multiple files and just wanted to restore this 35 megabyte file, we should not restore the entire volume because that would set back all files in time. So it's not something you do regularly. By the way, if you work from System Manager, the only thing you can restore is the entire volume, not a single file. Now let's restore the file from the client first. So we're back on the client and we copy the file from the snapshot directory back into the active file system. And when we check ONTAP, we see that it has created new blocks in the active file system. So the snapshot still holds this 35 megabytes of data in snapshotted blocks, and the file is fully copied back into new blocks in the active file system. Because Waffle never overwrites a block, it creates new blocks. Redirect on write. Now let's remove the file from the client again. And now ONTAP tells us that we've got a total usage of about 35 megabytes of data in snapshotted blocks only. Now to restore the snapshotted file from ONTAP using the snap restore file command, we can run it like this. So next to the SVM and the volume, we have to enter the snapshot name and the path, which is the actual file inside the snapshot. And we'll restore the pointers in the active file system. And now we check and see that the file system still only has the same amount of space in use. So I hope you see the difference. Copying files is not the same as restoring pointers. So copying a file at the client level takes additional space, whereas restoring on ONTAP just restores pointers in the active file system to the snapshotted blocks, which does not take any additional space except for some overhead. And that's it.